you guys what is up I hope everybody is doing just awesome I know I am today is a good day yesterday was a good day tomorrow's gonna be a good day let's all have some good days I am going to go over all of my rigs for your viewing enjoyment we are going to start out with my AMD six card rig this rig has one Asus ROG Strix 5700 XT. This card is a little bit of a downer. It has been BIOS modded and it should be doing like 56 to 58 mega hash on Ethereum, but I can't get it over 52. And I keep upping the voltages on it and it keeps just randomly reporting as dead, but whatever, it crashes the rig every now and then, but I can't seem to get it to stay stable. So that is what it is. This rig also has five RX 580 Sapphire SE cards. These have all been BIOS modded and all the graphics cards are running on Ethereum. This rig also has an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X CPU on Raptorium. Next, we're gonna move over to my AMD eight card build. This is on a RebTech board. It has six RX 580 Sapphire special edition cards, two RX 580 Red Devil cards, and all of these have been BIOS modded. These are all running on Ethereum. Next up, we have my original B450F Asus gaming board. This is running a 3060, two 3060 Ti's, a 3070 Ti, a 3080, and a 3080 Ti. These are all LHR cards. These are all on Raven. This rig also has an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X processor on Raptorium. Next up is a dedicated CPU build. This is on some spare B550F gaming board that I had. I picked that up from some Newegg bundle that forced me to get a whole bunch of stuff in order to get a graphics card. I was going to sell this board locally but guys don't really want to pay very much for board so I just turned it into a CPU build. I got an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X and this guy is on Raptorium. Next up is a full hash rate random build. We've got two 3080s, two 3070s, and two 2070 supers. Those guys are all on Ethereum. These are some trusty random cards that I had that didn't really fit in any other rig so I just threw them in here together. This rig also has an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 CPU, which is running on Raptorium. I also have another dedicated CPU build. This is also some random parts. This used to be my Chia rig. I was using the CPU in there. So the CPU and the motherboard both came from another one of those new egg bundles full of stuff that I didn't want. I ended up reu reusing some of this stuff. So right now, the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X is running Raptorium. Next up, we've got our full 30 series LHR build. Well, full minus a 3090, but there is no 3090 LHR. So unless they make one of those, I'm not gonna throw one of, one of those in here. This is a 3080 Ti, a 3080, 3070 Ti, 3070, 3060 Ti, and a 3060. All those GPUs are on Raven. This also has an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X, which I was running on Raptorium for a while, but then it started to randomly crash the system. Wasn't doing a whole lot anyways. This 2700X is a pretty slow CPU for Raptorium mining. So I just shut it off. So right now this rig is just running Raven. Then I have my main workstation, which has a 3080 Ti in it and an AMD Ryzen 9 5950X, which is on Raptorium. Graphics card is on Raven. It has a seriously overkill CPU because why not? Now that I can mine Raptorium, might as well put it to good use. Previous to this, I was using a 5800X in it that was not mining. And then when Raptorium mining kind of became a thing and I found out probably too late, I threw a 5950X into it. So it just makes for a really good personal computer. Next up is my Ethereum Beast. This has one 3080 and five 3090s in it. Two of the 3090s are Asus Strix, two of them are Asus Tufts, and one is an MSI. Most of these have had thermal pad replacements. One of the Asus Strix hasn't yet, but the other one has, and then the Asus Tuft and the MSI, those have all had thermal pad replacements because they run hot, these things. They were thermal throttling. As soon as I replaced those thermal pads, no thermal throttling issues at all on there. Those are all awesome. Those Strixes, they're doing 123 mega hash. 
the Tufts are doing, well, the 3080 Tuf is doing 100 mega hash, and the 3090 Tuf is doing is 122. And then the MSI, that's the dog of the bunch, it's doing 120, you know, 120 mega hash considered a dog. That's still okay. Next up, we have our Spider Miner. I call this the Spider V1 temporary build. Just it's just some random mash of cards. I've got two BIOS modded 1660 Supers, one regular 1660 Super that can't be BIOS modded. So those BIOS modded ones are doing about 35 mega hash. The regular one that isn't BIOS modded is doing about 31. And I've got four old school GTX 1070s and one GTX 1060. This whole rig is running Ethereum. Here we have our Spider V2 temp. This is a little bit larger Spider case. I've got two GTX 1070s, three 1060s, one 1080, one RTX 3070 LHR. This is actually my only LHR card running on Ethereum. All my others are running on Raven. And I have one 3090 Founders Edition. This one runs a little bit slower than the than the EVGA 3090s, or actually any of the other 3090 cards that I have. This one's only doing about 119 mega hash, but it's doing wonderful actually. The thermals on it are amazing. Nice cold card. I've got it running a little bit less power than the others, which is cool, but it's doing a little less mega hash. It's at about 119, 118, 119 mega hash. This whole rig here is on Ethereum. Up next, I have my personal favorite computer, just because it's so beautiful. This is my 7x3080 Ti rig. All seven cards are FTW3 EVGA models. They got those beautiful lights on there. This is a fun rig. I do a little bit of uh, speculative mining with this thing. If something comes up that I want to try out, this is the rig that I usually try it out with first, because why not? It's doing about 410 mega hash on Raven right now. I've also thrown it on Ravencoin Lite and Hivecoin. This is kind of the first the first rig that I throw out these new things to see how it's going to work. If it works, sometimes I throw my other LHR cards on there for a day or two just to do a little bit of speculative mining. That's a fun build. Looks really cool. Beautiful lights on this thing. I love it. Next up is my Lazy Boy LHR build. This is two 3060s, two 3060 Ti's, and two 3080s. These are all LHR cards, and they're all running on Raven. Next up is my Spider Miner 3060. This rig's got seven assortment, car seven random 3060 cards and one 3060 Ti. I'm not sure if these are V1 or V2 3060s, but they've been running Raven from the start. Next up is my Spider 3060 Zotac rig. This is an identical rig. All eight cards are 3060 Zotacs. Got these all at the same time. Uh, once again, I'm not sure if these are the V1 or the V2. I think that they're the V1s looking at the box, but I've never done any testing or dug any further into that. They're all just running on Raven. Next up is my Spider 6700 XT build. Inside here, we've got four MSI 6700 XTs, three Gigabyte 6700 XTs, and one Asus Tough 6700 XT. This is a really great rig. It runs really solid. No crashes, nothing. This thing runs just rock solid, as most of these AMD builds do. This one's on Ethereum. So last time I checked, there was no BIOS mod for any of these 6700 XTs, but it would be pretty cool if something came out where I could do that, get a couple extra hashes out of those. You know, eight cards in there, if you can squeak three or four extra out of there, that really starts to add up. Uh, we'll see. Up next is my temporary NVIDIA build. This is just a really old motherboard. I can only put five cards on there. This used to be my personal motherboard. It's just like where I throw my random cards. I don't know where else to put them. Right now it's housing three GTX 1070s. It used to have two 1080 Ti's in there, but I took those out and sold them. So right now it is only running the three 1070s. It is running on Ethereum. And last but not least is my beloved laptop. This thing is running a 3070 mobile on Ethereum. It is rock solid at about 65.4 mega hash, somewhere around there. It runs pretty good. I open it up. I've actually upgraded the hard drive in it because I use this as my personal computer fairly often. I'm thinking about upgrading the RAM. This is just stock. It's got it's got 16 gigs of RAM in there. Maybe we'll put maybe we'll put 32 in there someday. Who knows? 
And when I'm mining on it, I take the battery out of it as well. So no cover on this thing, no battery, and I point a fan at it. Keep it nice and cold and don't kill that battery. So all told, I've got 40 cards on SMOS, 55 cards on Hive OS, and six CPUs mining on Raptorium. I had one extra, but it kind of was crashing, just started crashing that rig, so I gave up on it. So now we're down to the six CPUs. All told, that's 96 GPUs running and six CPUs running right now. This gives us roughly 380 USD a day at current prices. You know, it's up and down here and there. It can be anywhere from $300 for having a really good day up to like $420 a day. Uh, we'll ballpark it at about 380 right now. So that's US a day, but as some of you know, as some of you know, I'm Canadian, eh? So we're gonna talk Canadian dollars here. About 490 Canadian a day based on current prices. Once again, that you know it fluctuates around a bit. And this does not take into consideration power. This stuff uses a lot of power. I think I'm sitting somewhere around 18, you know, somewhere around like 17 to maybe 20 kilowatts. It's using a bit of power. My power bills are pretty expensive. And I am selling Ethereum to cover my power bills. It would be nice to not have to do that, but it is what it is. My plans right now are to sell the Ethereum, kind of pay for everything, you know, pay for my life, feed my kids, pay my power bills. This is a big power bill. The money's got to come from somewhere. So that's where the Ethereum is going. And then my Raven, I'm kind of hoping that Raven goes somewhere after the halving. We'll see. I got a lot of power on Raven, a lot of these cards, lots of these LHR cards. I haven't actually counted the numbers, but I'm guessing somewhere around 30 cards, roughly, LHR. Those are all on Raven. About half my hashing power is there. I'm hoping that after the halving, this goes somewhere. We'll see. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, I might be putting myself in a tight situation. But let's let's do this. Let's ride. And then Raptorium is kind of a new thing. Not making a whole lot of Raptorium. Started out pretty good, but the hash rate is quite a bit on there. But it's a little bit. Not sure what to do with it. Probably just, just hold it. But now I've got the CPU set up, so if something else comes along for C CPU mining, I've got these six CPUs kind of ready to rock and roll. I've got three powerful, I got two 5900s and one 5950X, and then the other's a little less powerful, you know, I got the 5800X. But they're ready to rock and roll on whatever I can move that to, so it's nice to have that in the old arsenal. That's kind of what I'm running right now. I'm always looking to accumulate stuff. You never, never get enough of these cards. It is a beautiful hobby. I absolutely love it. Keeps my house warm in the winter. It's perfect. Keeps the environment warm in the summer, I guess, which isn't as good. But you know, you gotta do something with that heat. So it just goes out the windows in the summer, stays in the house in the winter. Can't win them all. One thing I wanted to add, all of these rigs that I kind of talked about, I want to break down all of them and talk about them. So I've talked about one of them so far and I'm going to be doing videos on the rest of them. Every single one of these rigs, I'd love to do a video kind of outlining everything that I have going on, all the cards, you know, what I'm using for power supplies, motherboard, case, what algorithm they're on, how much they're, they're bringing in. We can kind of talk about all that for every single one of these rigs. I'm not sure how many there are, 20, 15 rigs, something like that, but I will be bringing them up one at a time. This is kind of the whole overview for everything. And then in the future, I will outline all those, you know, some fun stuff for you guys to see. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys all have a great day. Stay warm out there if you're in a cold country. Stay cool if you're in a hot country. And enjoy your beginning of December 2021. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.